Hey YouTube, it's Ambix here with another Photoshop tutorial. Today we're going to be making graffiti text, such as this one right here. Um, this is in honor of the rebirth of the Very Angry Toad, veryangrytoad.com, which is a graffiti and hacking site that I used to go to all the time. Um, they got forums and videos on both subjects. Um, pretty sweet. Uh, at the time I'm making this, it's not open, but possibly by the time you see it, it will be. So I encourage you to go check out um, veryangrytoad.com. Um, this graffiti font that I'm using will only be in the description of the video uploaded there. So if you're watching this on YouTube, you can use another font and use the same technique. Or if you sign up at Very Angry Toad, then uh, you can use this one. So let's get started. Okay, so I started a new Photoshop document, and I gave it a black and white background just uh, to keep it everything visible and easy to see. Um, now I'm going to use a white text uh, because we are going to color and paint over it uh, easily. And I know you can probably see the text name, but finding it's actually a little bit harder than you probably think. So I'm going to type in... And, oh, I forgot about that. Sorry. You, uh, you have to type in all capitals on this font for some reason. And I'm going to use the capital O instead of a zero. Okay, so we got Ambix. I'll move it down here so we can see it for now until it's painted. Okay, so there's a lot of free, like, you can do whatever you want because this is your feet. You can see in the picture this guy's doing, like, bubble letters. Um, um, I mean, there's no rule to doing graffiti, really. Uh, well, there are, but I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about how you write it. Um,. <clears throat> common is to create the the 3D look with the the shadow or the um, the rise in the text, which uh, I'm going to do. So let me double click the layer, and I'm not going to do a stroke, which is what you'd think I would do. I'm actually going to give it a drop shadow, and drop shadow works because it gives it that 3D. But the thing is, because it's soft, it it looks like a shadow, uh, which is exactly what it sounds like. But what we can do is uh, is it spread? Yeah, if we turn the spread all the way up. It gets rid of the uh, softness and makes it hard. So, and don't laugh at that. Okay, and then I turn up the opacity, and now we have this cool 3D rise. Um, but I like to work with everything separately, so I'm actually going to separate the black away from the text. So what I'm going to do is go up to Layer, and then go to Layer Style, and Create Layer. Uh, okay, nope, it worked, never mind. So what I did is just made a black layer underneath the text. Now it's actually separated. Uh, which is good for us. Um, now, like, there's no rules. Um, what I'm going to do now, I guess, is give the text some colors so that we have something to work off of, and we'll take it, you know, piece to piece. I like this gold thing I had going on in my original SIG. I did this completely on accident. If I, I, like, I was going for a graffiti look, but then I, you know, kind of worked with it, and I found something, a uh, cool effect that made the graffiti look pretty sweet. So I'm going to grab my gold, and on a new layer, I'm going to paint over it because we're just going to make a mask uh, so that we can like kind of give it an airbrush um, so let me uh, paint over that with a gold and here I'll show you what I'm talking about with the airbrush did I close that? I did alright open up the Photoshop again right, what I did here is it's actually darker at the top and because uh, I just went in here and airbrushed it I also went across the middle and made it a little lighter um, so we're actually using a painting technique so now on my layer 2, which is above my text, I'm just going to hit create clipping mask. If I'm going a little fast, this wasn't really intended for beginners, so you might want to, you know, go watch uh, one of my earlier tutorials. Uh, maybe I'll make a tutorial specifically, specifically for beginners. There we go. Okay, so now we have our gold text. Um, uh, like I said, I'm going to airbrush it a little bit, so let me make this a little darker. I'm still on my layer 2. I could actually go on another layer if I wanted to. In fact, I will. Okay, and just kind of go in here and go on the top with a darker uh, color and if it's not dark enough we'll just control U it which is our hue and saturation uh, create clipping mask and yeah we can make it a little darker so I just hit control U we'll turn down the lightness and that's pretty cool right there keep it right there okay another effect that I did um, is created this shine which I don't know if you can see it kinda gives it a semi metallic look um, I don't know if that's the word I actually want to use, but it looks really good for graffiti, and it's simple. So what we're just going to do is we're going to hold down Control or Command if you're on a Mac, and click on the thumbnail for our text, 
and what it's going to do is select the text. I'm going to create a new layer. Um, eh, it's a mask right now, but that's okay. We'll take care of that in a second. Uh, select, uh, modify, contract, and I'll, I'll go three pixels. All right, there we go. And what that does is just shrinks the selection. And because it was kind of small to begin with, it's not holding very well. Kind of a faults in Photoshop, if you want to call it that. And I'm just going to fill it in with white. So let me fill this all in. And that's probably because of the mask. Okay, now fill in with white. That or our selection is just too small. This isn't working at all. There we go. It was the mask. Uh, and it was underneath. So there we go. Now we have it filled in with our white. And what we can do is set this mask back now because I had to ruin it. And pretty quickly now. There we go. Now we have our shine. It's a little white. I'm going to turn down the opacity just a little bit. There we go. Now we already have some pretty sweet text. Um, that's pretty good for graffiti. We could actually lighten that up. You know, you could do your different colors, whatever. Um, I'm going to select all of this. So shift all the way up. And I'm just going to move it up here because now what I'm going to do is kind of create this drip effect of paint. Um, so yeah, I went with an outer purple. This time I'm actually just going to... Eh, we could... Alright, I'm just going to drip the black uh, instead of doing the outer outline. Uh, like I said, it's totally free. Do whatever you want. Um, if I wanted to do like a different color, I would just do what we did with the text to make the black, except I would do a stroke on the drop shadow layer and just make it whatever color I want and then do the create layer. Alright, this is pretty easy. Just grab your brush, make it pretty small, make it a uh, zero hardness, and just uh, make it a bit smaller. Uh, click, shift, drag, click somewhere else, click, shift, drag, a little larger, click, click, shift, drag, do the same thing here, do it again, um, and you can do that as much as you want, obviously. Um, you know what, I'm actually going to give us a little bit of it. I don't know if it'll let us on a created layer. Yeah, it won't. Alright, because because of how this works, it's not going to let us actually create a shadow of that. So what we can just do is go to the text, create a stroke, make it a little larger. Like around there is pretty good. And we can make that whatever color we want. Red looks horrible. What about some purple? Alright, I love the purple. And then I'm just going to go to layer, layer style. Where is it? Create layer move our purple behind your black and I ruined the whole thing hold on create clipping mask create clipping mask okay there's a purple um, didn't exactly make it big enough but that's cool like I said free we didn't need the purple we don't have to have the purple um, looks pretty cool I'm gonna delete that because now we have the purple okay I'm just gonna leave it like that um, Simple, easy, fast, awesome uh, graffiti text effect. Um, now, you could do whatever you want. Like, you could map that on this wall here. Uh, you know, just use, like, your skew and all that. And and uh, you can, you know, put it wherever you want. Um, so, that's my graffiti tutorial in honor of the return of Very Angry Toad. I definitely encourage you guys to go there if you're at all interested in graffiti or hacking. Um, hopefully by the time you see this, they're back up and online. Uh, they're going to start off fresh, brand new, so, um, if you never signed up before, you know, sign up now. If you signed up before, you're going to have to sign up again. But, uh, yeah, Amy Zero's out. I will see you guys in the next tutorial.